Welcome back. I missed y'all. Did y'all miss me? Yes, my voice is still gone, but guess what? I'm doing another video, okay? Okay. So, today, I have a treat for you guys, and I'm 90% sure that you've probably seen this already, but so what? They ain't me. So, <laughs> when I tell y'all I have been sleeping, I have been sleeping like, where has these things been? And nobody told me about them. I had to find out about them by myself. <sighs> and then after I found out about them, then I went to YouTube and looked up and saw everybody was, you know, on the trend that I didn't even know about. And they've been out for a while. Look, I ain't got no earrings on. I can't tell y'all how many I ordered because it's a lot. And we're going to do swatches of each one. Now, I know it's plenty of swatch videos, but they probably ain't got the ones that I got. And they probably another skin tone. They're probably more fair than I am, or they're probably more darker than I am. So you probably want to see what they look like on my skin tone. So that's what I'm going to do. Before we get started, I ain't that good with describing... Um, colors so y'all can't be mad all right just can't be mad so yeah that's that's it <laughs> that's it they they see they see and they're called coastal scents hot pots and they are single pressed powders pressed high shadows and they come in the little packets like this. I got them in this big old box. They were wrapped in bubble wrap. And as y'all can see, it's a lot of them. They were wrapped in bubble wrap. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. And they're not going to be any in any particular order. I'm just going to do it. So grab some tea, get you a snack, and... Oh, and y'all, I had a pretty disturbing experience with Coastal Scents, and that's a whole nother video. So if you guys want a story time about what had happened, because y'all, I almost lost my Jesus this day in particular. So if y'all want to know exactly what happened, comment down below. I will do a separate story time, but only if y'all want it. So let me know. When I tell y'all, it was a sight to see. And also, this look that I did was created with two of the shadow pots. And if you are intrigued by this look, I will place the eye card right up there. Um, without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with my browns and golds in no particular order. I'm just going to dip into them and we're going to see what I pull out first. And the first shadow I have right here is called Deep Roast. And I am completely horrible at describing stuff. So I am on their um, web page because each shadow has their own description. So I'm just gonna go to each shadow and tell you guys what they describe it as on the website. Deep Pros has got a five star rating on their website. So that means it must be pretty good. And they describe it as a robust dark brown hue with a matte finish. In their application by application, it says it's an opaque application. So we're gonna see. Swatching it, it feels really, really creamy with a little bit of grit. It is a matte finish, so you can expect some grit to it, but it's not bad at all. And this is how it comes off on my finger. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but I will give you guys close-ups as well. So that one came off pretty decent. Um, the pigmentation is great. I didn't have to swatch it more than once to get the pigmentation that I wanted. The next one is called Dark Goldenrod. And this is what it looks like right here. 
and on their website they describe it as a deep gleaming golden hue with a shimmer finish and the application is semi-opaque and it's also got a five star rating Ooh, this is so creamy so pigmented look at that you guys oh my gosh Next one I have for you guys is called Pure Bronze, and this is what it looks like. Pure Bronze also has a five-star rating, and on the website it is described as a lush bronze hue with a shimmery finish, and the application is described as opaque. So we're just gonna swatch it. And again, this is so creamy. And all of them so far have been so pigmented and that is amazing because they're highly affordable. And you know, sometimes things that are so cheap and so affordable might not have that quality to them, but these are just as good as any Makeup Geek eyeshadow, any MAC Cosmetic eyeshadow, these is good, y'all. They good. So, this is what it swatches like on the finger. And let's get you guys a close-up. Okay, the next one we have is called Cherry Moss, and this is what it looks like in the pan. And this one is described as a reddish brown hue with green iridescent shimmer, and the application is opaque. On the website, it gets five stars. Oh my gosh. I have been sleeping on Coastal Scents, y'all. These have been out for a while and I'm just now finding out about them. How crazy is that? They feel so good. This is how it's swatched on the finger. Okay, the next one I pulled is called Coco Diamond. Okay, and Coco Diamond also has a five star rating described as a decadent brown hue with shimmer finish. Now I do see a little bit of shimmer in there. Um, it's described as a shimmer shade, but I would say it's more of a matte shade. It looks more matte to me than shimmery. Um, you do get some or not not so much of a matte shade. It's probably it probably has a satin finish because you can see the wetness that most shimmers have, but in the pan it looks like it's a matte, so I would say it's more of a satin finish. And this is how it is on the finger. In the swatch, I don't know if you guys can see, it does look like it has a little bit of shimmer in it. But in the pan, it doesn't look so much. That's crazy. Next shade we have is called Chocolatier. Chocolatier has a five-star rating. It is described as a creamy brown hue with a smooth matte finish. Application, opaque. And that is just what it is, creamy and smooth. This is a very beautiful matte color. It feels freaking amazing. This is what it looks like on the finger. And this is very similar to uh, Coco Diamond. It's not as shimmery as Coco Diamond was, but it looks about the same. So it builds up really, really nicely. It's not like it isn't um, creamy or pigmented still. It's still all of the above, but you do have to build it up to get the color that you're really wanting or the opaqueness that you're really wanting. 
it's not as opaque as it said. I would describe that more as a semi-opaque rather than just being opaque. The next shade we have is called Oktoberfest, and this is what it's looking like. It gets a five star on the website, and it is described as a burnish orange brown hue with a matte finish. The application is opaque. We shall see. So we're just gonna swatch our feet. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is very creamy, very pigmented. This is what it looks like on the finger. I don't know if you guys can really tell. If you guys are liking the video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments your thoughts on these eyeshadows. If you guys have these eyeshadows, let me know which ones you have. Let me know which ones that you have on your wish list or the ones you're looking to get. So the next color I have right here is called Boca Mocha. This has a five star rating and it is described as a rich shimmering brown hue. And the application is described as opaque. This one is a shimmer color, but it does have a little bit of that grit to it, but still creamy, still pigmented. This is what it looks like on the finger. Okay, the next one we have here is called Fool's Gold and it has a five star rating and it is described as a muted yellow gold hue with a matte finish and the application is a sheer application. So let's see. That is what it swatches as on the finger. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's still a very, very pigmented, very creamy color. I love it. Matter of fact, it's a beautiful yellow, deep, warm yellow tone. So, you know, I ain't, I ain't really complaining. The next shade I have is called Aluminum Taupe. And this is a five star rating. And it is described as a dark metallic silver hue with a shimmery finish. And the application is semi opaque. Again, it's one of those ones that feel kind of gritty. It is a shimmer color and it feels kind of gritty, but I'm not complaining. It still has that pigmentation that I love. The next that I have here is called Chai Spice. And again, it is a five star rating on their website and it is described as a lush shimmer finished brown hue. The application opaque. Swatching it, this has got to be the creamiest swatch that I've done so far. It feels amazing. And this is what it comes off as on the finger. The next shade is still gray, and this is what it looks like in the pan. It has a five star rating, and on the website it is described as a deep metallic gray with a shimmer finish. The application, opaque. I barely dipped my finger into the pan, and look at this craziness. That is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, and the last one in this category is called Sterling, and it is a four and a half star rating, and it is described as a pale silver hue with a satin finish. This is the first satin finish I've seen that's described on their website. I have a couple of shades that I would describe as a satin finish, but this is the first one I've seen that they've described as satin. And it says the application is a sheer application. And again, it feels gritty, but not too shabby. It feels creamy and gritty at the same time. 
And this is what it looks like on the finger. Okay, and that one was the last one for that category. If you guys are still here with me, give me a thumbs up or comment down below and let me know that you're still with me. Um, if you guys do enjoy this makeup look, I will put the card right up here leading you to this makeup tutorial as well as some other makeup tutorials that I have in my repertoire. Moving on to the greens. The first one that I pulled out, no particular order, is called Paris Green. And this is what it looks like in the pan. This one is a four and a half star rating. It is described as a vibrant green shade with a shimmer finish. And the application, opaque. This is what it looks like on the finger. Just beautiful, that's so gorgeous. next color I'm swatching for you guys is called Tropic Green and this is what it looks like in the pan and on the website it has a five star rating feels creamy but I'm saying that swatching it rubbing my finger in the pan and looking at my finger it doesn't come off as pigmented and opaque as the other ones would but but I might be wrong so let's see is described as an electric green hue with a shimmer finish and the application is semi-opaque. And the next color is called Limeade and it looks like this in the pan. And it has a five star rating and described as a vibrant jolt of lime green with a blast of golden shimmer and the application is semi-opaque feels gritty but creamy at the same time and swatching it just a little bit that I did it came off really really opaque so the swatch is going to be opaque The next color we have here is called Peridot or Peridot, whatever. You know how sometimes the tea be silent and things like it's French or whatever. That's what I was thinking, so that's why I said Peridot, but it might be Peridot. Who knows? But this is what it looks like in the pan. Very pretty. It is a five-star rating described as a sparkling green jewel tone with a shimmery finish the application semi-opaque very creamy now one swatch is not as pigmented as i would like it to be so that probably means it might be semi-opaque so this is what it looks like on the finger after Swishing it a little bit more than what I had to. This is what it looks like. Next color is called Wizardry. Now Wizardry has a um, four and a half star rating and this is what it looks like in the pan. It is described as a mystical green hue with a shimmer finish and the application semi-opaque. Now, just swishing my finger in there, ain't nothing semi-opaque about that. The next one is called Olive Wood, and this is what it looks like. It has a five-star rating, and it is described as a deep olive hue with a matte finish, and the application is opaque. Now, just swirling it just one time, this is what came off. So it's very, very opaque. And next, to continue on with our greens, it's called Hoppin' Jalapeno. And this has a five star rating. And it's described as a zesty green hue with a matte finish. And the application is sheer. Ooh, this feels so good. 
Now, even though this color is very pigmented, when I swatched just the one time, this is what it looks like on the finger. Um, even though it's very pigmented, it does look like it's going to have a sheer application. Okay, and the next color is called Grapevine, and this actually has a three and a half star rating on the website. This is what it looks like, and it is described as a lavish golden green hue with a shimmery finish, and the application is opaque. So I'm not quite understanding why it has three and a half stars because barely swatched this and this is what came up y'all this is one of the ones on my freaking radar i love how this feels it's very pigmented very opaque let's see how it swatches i don't know who coastal sense made mad to give that shade a three and a half star rating but that shade is bomb. Next color we have is called Vibrant Lime Green, and this is what it looks like. This is a very popping color. This color is so bright. I don't think these lights are doing it justice. This is bright in real life. It has a five star rating, so that's good. And it is described as a lively lime green hue with a smooth matte finish. So I'm thinking smooth matte maybe satin let's see on here it does say the finish is satin so yeah it's described as semi-opaque mm. this one you have to build up for real this is Okay, the next one I have here is called Till Green and it has a four and a half star rating on the website. And this is what it looks like in the pan. It looks more like a blue green. And it's described as a very vibrant teal hue with a smooth matte finish. And it says that it's semi-opaque, so we'll see. The next color we have is called Sassy Grass, and this is what it looks like in the pan, and it has a five-star rating, and it is described as a lively green hue with a satin finish. So again, the finish states that it's satin and semi-opaque. Now, swatching it, it feels very, very creamy. It does have a satin finish. It's not a shimmer. It's not a matte. It's directly in the middle. So you'll get that sheen. But it looks like it's going to be more opaque than semi-opaque. So let's see. Okay, the next green shade I have is called Prehistoric Green, and this is what it looks like in the pan, and it is a very true green color. It has a four and a half star rating on their website. It's described as unearthed, um, and it says the application is opaque. Swirling my finger around, it's very, very creamy, and this is what comes off, so let's see how it swatches. Okay, and what's next for our greens is called Shamrock Green. This is how it looks in the pan. Again, a very sea foam looking color, kind of blue green. It has a four and a half star rating and it is described as a vibrant teal green hue with a matte finish and it is semi opaque. So let's see. Again, very, very creamy, but with one swirl in the pan, this is what came up. So semi-opaque more like opaque but let's see how it's watching
Okay, and the last for our greens is called Balsam, and this has a five-star rating, and this is what it looks like in Japan, a very forest green looking color, and it's described as a deep golden green hue with a shimmery finish, and the application is opaque. So, this has a little bit of that grit, but I do have to say, just swatching it or swirling it around, just that one time, this is what came up, so it's definitely opaque. Okay, y'all, so we almost finished. I see the finish line. It's getting clear. I know this is a lot of eyeshadows, and this is going to be a very, very long video, but, you know, some people like long videos. If you like long videos, give me a comment down below. Let me know that you like long videos. If you don't, also comment down below. Let me know that... You know, this video is too long. Make it shorter next time. Tell me how I'm doing. Okay, so this next color is called Niagara. And this is what it looks like in the pan. It has a five-star rating. It's described as a wash of bluish green with a shimmery finish. And application is opaque. Now, swatching it, it feels amazing. And this is how it looks on the finger. Okay, the next color I have for you guys is called Lakeshore and it has a five star rating. And this is what it looks like in the pan, very similar to Niagara. This one is described as a shimmery mix of gold, green, and blue hues. And the application is semi opaque. This is what it looks like on the finger. The next color I have, I used on the inner corners of my eye and it's called Azure Frost and this is what it looks like in the pan. It has a five star rating and is described as an icy burst of blue with a shimmery finish and the application is opaque, very creamy, very pigmented. And the next color is a deeper blue color. It's more like a royal blue color and it's called electric blue. This is what it looks like in the pan and it is a five star rating and it's described as intensify your eyes with this deep matte blue shadow and the application is considered opaque. Comes off a bit of semi opaque. And this next blue shade is called Empress Teal. It has a five star rating. It is described as a lavish blue green hue with smooth matte finish, so a satin finish, but on here it does say matte. Um, the application says that it is a semi opaque um, application. Swatching it is very creamy, very, very opaque, so therefore on the swatch it's going to be opaque, but let's see. And this is an even deeper blue, it's called Indigo Dream, and this is of course darker than the electric blue. It has um, a 5 star rating on the website and is described as an intense navy hue with gleaming silver sparkles. Swirling my finger around just this once, this is what came up, it's a very opaque color. Okay, and the next color is this very, very, very pretty blue. It has a very nice sheen to it. It's called Capri Blue, and this has a five-star rating on the website, and it is described as a charming true blue shade with a satin finish. It definitely does have a satin finish. Beautiful sheen, like I said, and it says the application is semi-opaque, so let's see. Very creamy, very, very creamy, and this is... What came off? Okay, and the next blue shade I have is called Platinum Blue, and this is what it looks like. It has a five star rating, and it's described as a metallic silver blue hue with a shimmer. And it says the application is opaque, it comes off 
very, very opaque. This is what it looks like on my finger. And the last color we have for our blues is called Steel Blue, and this is what it looks like. You can see it has the reflex of silver in here. It has a five-star rating on the website. It's described as a deep cadet blue with shimmer finish. And the application is opaque and barely even touching it. This is what came off. Okay, and now we are working our way into the pinks, the mauves, the purples, the maroons, those sorts of colors. And this is our last category that we have for this video. And we're starting off with the color peach. And this is what it looks like in the pan. As you can see, it has a lot of gold reflect to it. Just swishing it back and forth in the light there. It has a five star rating on the website and is described as a soft peach hue with a satiny finish. So it is a satin finish. And the application is semi-opaque, which I believe this is opaque more than semi-opaque. The next color we have is called Maroon Berry and it's this very, very deep plum color. And on the website it has four and a half star rating and it is described as a deep reddish brown hue with a matte finish. And the application is opaque. This is definitely one of the ones that has more of that grit texture to it, but it's still very pigmented. Next color we have is called deep eggplant and this is what it looks like in the pan and this color has a four and a half star rating on the website described as a dark purple shade with a subtle turquoise sparkle now to me they look more silver than turquoise but hey who knows next color I have is more of a pinky plum color and it's called Ma Frost. And it has a five star rating on the website and it is described as a icy pink hue with the ultra, ultra shimmer finish. And it says that the application is opaque, barely swatched it and that's how much came off. This color right here is called Vampy and it's more of a reddish maroon and it has those silver reflex in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has chunks of silver in it and it has a five star, yeah, a five star rating on the website and it's described as a deep red violet hue with a shimmery finish and the application is opaque. Okay, this next color is called Deep Merlot and it is a five star rating. This is what it looks like in the pan. Now this is a very deep plum color, but it has reflex of gold and silver, maybe, um, or it's coming off more silver than gold and is described as a lush burgundy silver hue with a shimmer finish and it's an opaque application. All right, and this next color is called Fancy Pansy. It is this very, very light baby pink color with an overcast of silver, has silver reflex in it. It has a five star rating on the website and is described as a sheer pastel pink with soft matte finish. It is definitely a matte, but y'all see that sheen? What I'm gonna say. It looks more like a satin, and it says that the application is a sheer application. Next color is called Panama Rose, and this is what it looks like. A very, very gorgeous color. I don't think these lights are doing it any justice. It has a five-star rating on the website, 
and it is described as a shimmering violet hue with pink underglow. So it's a purple with pink undertones and it says the application is semi-opaque. Just swatching it or swirling it around just one time, this is how it looks on the finger. So I believe it's gonna be more opaque than semi-opaque. Okay, and this next color is more of a fuchsia pink and it's called Hollywood Charisse and it is a five star rating on the website and it is described as a dark pink hue with a sheer matte finish swatching it on my finger is definitely not sheer to me it's more opaque than sheer this next color is called raisin berry it is very 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 shimmery maroon burgundy looking color and on the website it has a five star rating and is described as a stunning maroon hue with a shimmer finish it is definitely a shimmer and the application is opaque Okay, and the second to the last shade is this very, very pretty muted purple color. This color is so freaking gorgeous. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but guys, this color is freaking amazing. It has a five-star rating, and on the website it says, Evoke a sense of mystery with this gleaming gunmetal hue. And it has a shimmer finish and application is opaque. The very last color I have for you guys today is called Amethyst. Now y'all, y'all know how I am about the color purple and this purple is absolutely gorgeous. This is so freaking pretty. On the website, it has a five-star rating and is described as a gemstone purple. And it says the application is opaque. Oh my gosh. And just touching it, just, just touching it, not even swishing your finger around in it, just touching it. It feels so creamy. And this is what came off, you guys. So it's very opaque, a definite opaque color. All right, you guys, so as you can see, all colors mentioned in this video were very, very pigmented, opaque, creamy, beautiful shades, and I will be purchasing more from Coastal Scents now that I know that these exist. I am so excited to use these eyeshadows. And if you've been with me in this whole video, comment down below and let me know you've been with me this whole video, and I thank you guys so much for watching. I am thinking about doing my first giveaway, um, so also comment down below if you guys have any ideas of what you guys would want in a giveaway, um, just to give me some ideas, because right now I'm at a writer's block and I don't yet know what I want to give away, so let me know. And again, thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out more videos of mine, you guys. And if you would like to see more, go ahead and press that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one.